good evening. Anyone had morning sex this morning? You did? Was it with her that you're next to? or What kind was it? No, I really want to know what kind of sex you had. What kind of sex did you have this morning? Morning sex? Yeah. Morning sex? Oh. I didn't know if it was like slow sex, a quickie, or, you know, quiet sex. You know, you got to do it quiet when the kids are still asleep before you wake them up. No, well, I haven't had morning sex in a long time. Oh. I really <laughs> But, excuse me. <clears throat> I um I never really kind of let them get a chance to stay the night till the morning to do morning sex. Mm-hmm. Once when we're done, I kind of like get their boots, coat, and get them the fuck out. Thank you for your services. <laughs> that type of shit. But when I think about it, even in the evenings, I don't get dick either. Like, I haven't had sex in a minute. It's head head. Yes. No? All right, that's cool. But um, when I did have morning sex, I do remember when they used to, and I say they because I'm talking about the people that used to do that to me when they like rub it up against me and like stick it in or like slide it in. Relax, guys. It's it's a joke, but. Um, <laughs> They would slide it in, and then, like, my pussy be, like, so dry, my breath's all stinking and shit. But then, like, it's, like, right when they, like, jam it in, it's, like, boom, you're at work doing, like, taking people's trash out and shit and doing other people's jobs. Like, ladies, why is it when we get good dick, we want to do cleaning and we want to be all energized and doing other people's work? Like, bitch, if you don't go sit back down and get on them fucking phones, I hate being on the phones. Like, I was on the phone with this customer one day, and they were like, um, yeah, can you help me with this? And I was like, yeah, I'll help you with this. You know, go on the computer and do this. And they, okay, you want me to hit continue? Like, yeah, bitch, I want you to hit continue. If you don't hit continue, you're going to stay the fuck where you are. You're never going to make it to America. Shit. That's going to be the fuck on you. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But you know what else fucks with me? When we call a business. And they'd be like, um, press one for English, press two for Spanish. You press one, and Aladdin comes on from fucking Disney. Hello, thank you for calling, whatever the fuck. Like, why the fuck would you even give me an option if I didn't have a fucking option? Like, I don't understand. Oh, man, I tell you. But any crack babies in the room? No, no, no crack babies. Awkward. <laughs> Drunk down. I think I attract crackheads a lot because I'm a crack baby. And, and and the reason why I say that is because like one day I was at a bus stop and then I like ran into this crackhead. He was a homeless crackhead. And we like kissed in the um bus stop. I, I know it was weird. Relax though. It was it was before it was before COVID. It was before COVID. And um, I was getting on the bus and I was like, you know, you're not gonna get on. And he was like, no, I live here. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? So I think he like sensed my crack baby senses. Or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. But um, just one thing, one last thing for y'all. I really don't know. I'm gonna like vent for a second. I went to the store and bought some cigarettes earlier, and I went and drove off and um, I didn't have the cigarettes. I went to go smoke, smoke one and it wasn't there. Long story short, I went back to the store and it was a different fucking nigga. Now at this point, I'm fucking mad because now he's gonna tell me that he doesn't remember me. Don't play with a black bitch and her fucking cigarettes. I need my cigarettes. So the guy said, well, he's coming. And I said, okay, I'm waiting for him and he's still not here. So I almost went to jail and um, I went behind the counter and I said, bitch, if you, but my wig wouldn't come the fuck off. And so he didn't take me serious, but he gave me my cigarettes, you guys. See you guys. Hey, Ryan, everybody.